Today we're taking a look at iTunes Radio, Apple's answer to music streaming services. iTunes Radio, which is built right into the music app, bears a lot of resemblance to Pandora. From the main screen, you're able to add your own radio stations based on a genre, or by searching for a particular song or artist. Once you've created a station, music will start playing based on the type of selection you've made. Just like Pandora, iTunes Radio allows you to skip songs, but only a limited amount. iTunes Radio is ad-supported unless you're a subscriber of iTunes Match, then the service is completely free. Tapping on the star icon within a particular song gives you the option to play more songs like the current selection, never play the song again, or the add the song to your iTunes wish list. At the top of the screen, you'll find an info button which lets you create a new station from the artist or song. Finally, if you'd like to buy the song, which is what Apple is banking on, you can purchase music right within the app. Even though iOS 7 is still in its first beta, iTunes Radio seems pretty polished, especially compared to Apple's previous music solutions like iTunes Match.